any project I have is always I have a desire for it to be somewhat of a worship uh, tool or resource yeah. for people, whether whether it's a corporate worship resource for churches or whether it's just a personal worship resource for um, for people. You know, whether it's someone listening to the CD in their car by themselves, struggling through something, and um, and hopefully. Every song on that just points people to Jesus and the hope that we have in the person of Jesus Christ. Well, the name of the album and the song, Open Hands. Yes. So, so tell me about, first of all, the content, the theme of the song, and then we'll talk about the special guests that you have on yeah. the song. The song, uh, it's, it's for anyone who's ever struggled with being a control freak. <laughs> for me, you know, I, I, I buy into that myth that the greater control I can gain on the things in my life, my resources, my time, my uh, the people around me, my relationships, my children. If I could only gain control of my children, that I buy into that lie that that, that kind of control would bring more peace, or that kind of control would bring more satisfaction in life. Yeah, but yeah. what we see in the scriptures is, uh, you know, Jesus telling us whoever wants to gain their life actually has to lose it. Mm. It's releasing control of our lives and saying, Lord, I trust you with everything. Mm. And you have Mac Powell, a I third do, yeah. day, good, a, a fellow at Lenton, and that is uh, that is part of the project. So, how did that collaboration come together? You know, he's been a friend for a long time, and and we've sung together on a couple of his projects before, and so it was just. He was due to be on one of mine. And, okay, payback. And great guy. And, and honestly, I, I grew up listening to, to Third Day. I remember, And he's not that much older than me. So if he's listening to this, I'm not calling you old, Mac. But I, I remember listening to Third Day when I was in high school and was so encouraged by their music. And so it's neat to get to partner with him in ministry. Laura Story joining us today here on the Meeting House on Faith Radio. It's National Religious Broadcasters 2017. And... This album, Open Hands, it's a it's a concept. It's a worship album. It's an album that has those elements of drawing near to God and expressing yes. what God has done in your life. And I want to talk about some specific songs, and then we'll we'll kind of wrap things up just talking about life for you and yes. uh, and, and some of the different aspects of, of your own life. But another song on the album is called Give You Faith. Oh, yeah. So this, tell me about that. Well, this is a song I wrote for my kiddos, which gets <laughs> funny because my husband and I struggled with infertility for about five, six years, which a lot of couples out there, you know, kind of walk that hard road. And so the idea, uh, you know, if you'd told me even five years ago that I would be writing a song for my kids. Uh, wow. It, it just, I would never have believed you. And so now that we have these am amazing little, little bundles of joy and energy, <laughs> the, the question is if I, could, if I could leave one thing with them, if they could remember one thing about me, if I could impart one piece of, of wisdom or one value to their lives, what would it be? And it's not necessarily that, uh, that I would want them to remember me as, as an amazing mom because I just would, I'll never be that. I can't be that. But, but wanting them to remember um, my faith and to hand down a legacy of faith and for them to remember that, um, that I followed Jesus and looked to his grace even when I failed as a mom. Mm. What do you see as a mom? And you, you've touched on it just a bit. You know, parents obviously want to see their kids grow up and have a relationship with Christ and follow yes. Christ. Obviously, this song is a vehicle that you use to communicate yeah. that desire to them. What do you see and, and what words of encouragement could you give to parents with respect to the perspective God has given you? Yeah, to really I'll, I'll tell you right now, it, what God's teaching me is that it's not enough to tell my kids what I believe, but I have to live what I believe in front of them. And, and my kids are four, two, and two. So uh, there's this tendency to say, oh, well, when they grow up, I want to make sure that I teach them this. But no, it starts now. Living out my faith, uh, living out our faith as a family starts now 